Americans, roughly half of people over 55, have little or no retirement savings. But consumer advocates now say that taking out a reverse mortgage could be a smart way to bring in more money. These loans used to be controversial, but as NBC's Olivia Stearns found out, they're now considered safer. Reverse mortgage today. You've probably seen the ads on TV. A reverse mortgage is a great program. Promises to save big with a reverse mortgage, a loan that lets you borrow against the value of your house. Thanks to new government regulations, reverse mortgages are now actually harder to get. And with tougher lending standards in place, they're actually becoming less controversial and more popular. Still, experts warn they're not for everybody. We love it. It's our dream home. For Cheek and Kay Rothschild, though, a reverse mortgage was the solution to stay put. After 30 years and four kids, the Cartersville, Georgia couple couldn't imagine living anywhere else. But when the downturn hit, they couldn't afford to stay. It was scary. It was devastating. That's when they decided to get a reverse mortgage. Were you worried about the risks of getting the reverse mortgage? Sure, we were concerned, but we did a lot of education. What's changed? New limits on how much you can borrow, stricter requirements to qualify, and new protections for spouses. Borrowers still need to pay property taxes and home insurance, but experts say it is now safer. I think reverse mortgages are going to be a lifeline for millions of retirees uh, in the years to come simply because they're undersaved for retirement. The Rothschilds borrowed $250,000 in equity from their $440,000 house. If they sell or die, they only get what's left of their equity. The bonus, no more mortgage payments, means they're now saving $2,500 a month. For the Rothschilds, it all added up to a little more breathing room as they retire. Olivia Stearns, NBC News, Cartersville, Georgia. Yeah, look at that. We're back in a moment.